Hello, hello. 1080p, 60 frames, and it is currently 3.50pm on Wednesday the 18th of October 2023. And uh, the past day or two, I have been having an affair with this awesome little puzzle card combat game called Fights Inside Spaces. I've really been enjoying it. Really been enjoying it. Um, probably a little bit too much. Like lost too many hours to it. By too many, I mean not enough because we're playing it again. Uh, it's very, very cool. It's a deck builder. It's a puzzle game. It's combat. Um, it's very addictive. Now, I don't remember exactly how I came across this, but I did see it two days ago. I think it was two days ago. Uh, on sale on Xbox. Oh, that's right. I think they released a new DLC and I was going through like what new DLCs had released for different games. Um, saw that the Whoopty Edition was on sale. Uh, decided to pick it up after because I played it. It has a two hour demo. The two hour demo was a lot of fun to the point that I didn't want it to stop. So here we are. Now, I don't know if I'm going to play through the whole thing on stream. I have played a, a chunk of it. I haven't gotten all the way through it because it is kind of roguelite-ish in a way. Not in your typical, like, you know, explore a dungeon type of thing, but more of like uh, you have runs and then you, you get randomized stuff and then you win or you lose or whatever. You, you, you'll understand what I mean when we get into it. Um, absolutely love it so far. Very, very cool. Still have a lot of different cards and decks and stuff to unlock, but um, we'll start a new one of just the standard fights in tight spaces. Uh, yes, we'll overwrite that. And basically I'm going to do the tutorial as separate for the VOD viewers. We'll do the tutorial as separate. Um, and then... Um, yeah, we'll see how we go as far as different episodes go and how long they are. But um, I didn't realize that when the game first starts, it starts you on... It's either Suave or Classic Plus. Like when it's your very first time. Um, but I'm going to play this on Classic. I've played a little bit of Classic so far. Basically, Suave and, and Classic Plus just give you some safety nets if you want to like redo a turn or something like that. Which is handy if you're just mucking around with it, but... We'll raise the stakes a little bit. And we'll do some of this. Gives you the option of three different agents to pick two. Um, you know, I like to change them around as we as we lose them, as they die and wipe or whatever. Agent 11. Sir, we have a number of emerging situations that could do with your skills. All right. And then you get to pick a deck. And when you start, you only have the balanced deck, I'm pretty sure. Um... The DLC gives you the Gunslinger deck, and then as you level up, like your actual account, I guess, or your, your character, whatever, you get different decks unlocked, and I've unlocked these two so far, and they come with different cards. Now, from what I understand, you can get all cards in all decks, pretty much. There's probably exceptions to that rule. I am very new to this, but I'm just telling you what, I've, what I understand so far. Um, lots of cool moves. We don't need to look at them now. We'll get into it, um, but we will start with the training. Nice to see you back, Agent 11. Thank you, sir. Report back to me when you've completed your training. That's pretty straightforward. Um, but it can get very complex very quickly with the different enemy types. Um, basically, you just move around a board. Uh, you know, like a, like a standard board game. Take turns, left and right buttons, rotate your camera. All right. Um... I'm going to do spinning back fist on this dude first, as it says. Uh, you can see your focus in the top right-hand corner of the card, which is how much it's going to cost to cast, or to use to cast. It's not spells. G'day, Claire. Welcome, welcome. How you doing today? Um, but effectively, you need to use momentum to play, which is what the, the currency is. And you can see it on the left side, I've got one of three left, and I'm going to have three on the next turn. Um, so I can play any, any zero cards, basically. Um, now, if I gain the momentum, current momentum shown here, etc., etc., play focus, right? So I'll get an extra momentum playing that, and then I can use the double jump kick. 
Uh, and that'll move me over two spaces to kick him. And I'll get close enough. And then I'll be able to use jab. And I can knock him out. But jab also gives me momentum as well. So that's but that's a later on thing. You just won your first fight. The fight ends when every opponent's been defeated or when you've completed all the main objectives. So sometimes there's a boss to beat and you just keep summoning dudes in. Um, enemy recon. Let's talk about your opponents. During the mission, you come across a variety of enemies. Sometimes you'll be given a warning when your enemies will arrive. Look for this marker. If the tile is blocked at the end of the turn, the enemy will be prevented from arriving until the next turn. It gives you a, a turn of breathing room if you, like, put yourself or another enemy or something into those spots. Then it gives you a chance to have an extra turn without that enemy showing up. You're doing great, Claire. That's good to hear. It's good to hear. How am I doing? I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. I found this uh, new little puzzle game that I'm really enjoying and I've been getting into it. It's a lot of fun. All right, so we'll finish our turn there, but we will. I'm pretty sure it guides you. It makes you pick specific things. Um, yeah, so you can see the health of enemies and how much damage they're going to do. Um, enemies will be activated if they're targeting the player at the beginning of their turn or if any character enters their range during turn. So you can make them fight each other and make them knock each other around. Um, uh, projectile weapons can't attack from a distance if there isn't an obstacle. Wait, what? Oh, they can attack from any distance unless there's an obstacle. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, proceed to continue. Use front kick on the selected enemy. So it won't let me use jab. Though normally I would use jab, but I cannot. Um, so we'll use this. Once an enemy's been activated, they'll attack at the end of the turn regardless of the allegiance of their target. So basically it means you can make them fight each other. Um, the icon under the enemy indicates if they're getting attacked this turn. So you can see that he's got the, the fist symbol underneath him, so he's going to get shot by old mate next to him. Um, you can move the cursor over and see their stats. Info panel pops up on the right there. It just tells you who you're fighting, what they can do. It, it can get pretty complex later on, especially with like bosses and stuff. But it does get very, very cool. You've never seen anything like this before? You're intrigued to listen. It is definitely a, a... It's like a combination of a couple of different formats that I've seen. Um, I, I quite like it. I quite like it. Because it looks like it's very like... Um, like it's very James Bond, very sort of frenetic action. But it's, it's very methodical, which is good. I quite like it. Enemies can move during their turn. So as you change turn, they can move. They can move towards you if they're close range or keep the distance from you if they have a ranged attack if that's what they want to do see old mate didn't move up on me with the gun because he doesn't want to get kicked in the face um they try and stay away from void tiles and they get out of the way of other enemies so they're not completely stupid but they can get to be pretty dumb sometimes so we'll jab him you can see we've got four of three now and then we can actually just kick this dude out of the ring and he'll be even though we only did six damage because he's been kicked out of the ring, he's knocked out. And that's effectively the goal. That is the the be all and end all of what you're what you're wanting to do. Okay, so more advanced mechanics. Um, option play. Let's just move or attack. Uh, cards like head smash. We can use to smash someone if they're up against the side of something. So we can mess this dude up. And then we can block because he's only going to do 4 damage to us. But because we're blocking with 10, we just take the hit. Nothing happens. Uh, opponents get pushed out of this fight are automatically out of the fight. They're dead. Um, void spaces don't always get a hazard marker. You can light that up yourself. But because we're pushing him out, he's out of the ring. Even if he had... 100 health, he'd be out. Finish the turn, you'll see two more drop in on the arrows. Every time you make a successful attack, your combo level will increase, which is what the yellow is on the left. Combos maintain between turns, but any movement you do will reduce your combo by one for each tile of movement. So if I run three tiles across, I lose three combo. It doesn't go any lower than zero, but some cards like this left spin kick, I can't use until I get two combo going. 
Um, I got a reposition, so my combo is going to go to zero. Um, very few exceptions. You can only move with a straight line on the board. So you effectively move like a rook in chess. Um, although shorter than that. You can't move like the full length. You can move one step, two steps, whatever it may be. This what this card gives us one step. So we'll move over to him. Um, now left spin kick we can't play yet. But we can play Jolt. And Jolt will give us two combo. And then we can use the left spin kick on him. And that'll mess him up a bit. And then we can use the counter card. Now counter's just like block. But it only gives us eight. Because it means when he hits us, we're going to hit him back. Right, so it's relatively straightforward. Some cards like grapple require multiple steps. So you move the target to any adjacent tile within the board. No combo gain. Target will turn to face away. So basically I can grab this dude. Oh, hold on. Select the enemy and finally select the destination. Yeah, so I'll grab him, move him there. He's got his back to me. Uh, as you progress through the game, you'll come across cards and enemies with new abilities. If you need a reminder, you can hover over a card to see an explanation of what you, each icon means. You can enable and disable help tooltips in the options menu, um, which is also good. When you get a new mechanic, you get a help screen that'll pop up. I probably won't get a lot of help screen mechanics. So I'll try to guide as we go along, at least for a little bit anyway. I got murdered by ninjas at one point, so a little bit after the ninjas I've been, but we'll, we'll see when we get there. If I get there on stream at all, but we'll see what happens. Um, now, finish the fight using the information that you've earned. Now, this card, deal eight damage in one push. Move onto the vacated tile. Tile behind the target cannot be, uh, must be empty unless the target will be killed. So because this dude has a railing behind him and I push him back one, he will be injured. Uh, and then he will die because he will fall off the edge. So I can just execute him basically. And then I can, let's go here. And hopefully he's not going to kick me. I don't think he will. I think he just punches. So end our turn. He'll turn to face me, which takes up his turn. Uh, and we're going to do just a jab on him and he'll be done. All done, all done. Impressive stuff. You've clearly still got it. Do you ever have any doubts? The world moves on, Agent 11. New challenges, new threats. I'm just glad you're up to it. And that's it. That's the basic tutorial. There's a lot of other stuff that you learn as you go, like how enemies can counterattack and how things will move when you move or how, um, you know, different enemies might have like auto attack. So if you get in their range, they will automatically attack you, even if it's your turn. Things like that that you've got to sort of be aware of. But that's effectively the long short of the tutorial. Um, on the next one, we're going to jump in. We're going to fight the Death's Head Biker Gang and get into it properly. And I won't ramble as much about the tutorial stuff. Alright. I will uh, talk to you again soon.